Hello, this is Bill Ward, Director of Service with Sound Vision CVS with another technical tip. Today we're going to take a look at the Accuson Sequoia, now Siemens, specifically at the network setup. Let's get right into it. Here's a picture of the keyboard. Above the A key is a setup key. We're going to use that. We'll push the setup key, and then we'll use the trackball and the kidney keys, either one on either side, to select which menu we want. Taking a look at the screen, push setup, pop down menu will come up slide down to service UI and select that. It'll open up this screen. We'll hit network setup. It'll give you some housekeeping chores like warning you if you make changes it'll take a reboot. I'm not going to go over those. Here's the DICOM setup menu and we've got four items on here right now. Two of them are always there. That's the top two. The Sequoia which is an internal address. Can't touch, can't mess with, leave it alone. Second one is the IP address for the Sequoia itself. That's its IP address to the outside world. That information will be given to you by the IT department. To see it, you hit Edit and OK. It'll open up and show you what's on that particular menu. The name can be any name. That's just identify it, make it easy for you to find it. However, the port number will always be 2100 on the Accuson Sequoia for its Aegis. That's the name of its internal storage and archive device. But the Sequoia IP address and the AE title will be given to you by the IT department at the hospital or whatever facility you have or yourself if that's the case. Net mask will almost always be 255.255.255.0. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant. I think the string right there is for Accuson to dial in and hit OK. We didn't make any changes so nothing has to be changed but that's as simple as setting up the Sequoia with the IP address and AE title that was given to you. We have two DICOM servers set up already, and rather than adding one, which we can do by checking the box to the left, we'll do Edit, hit OK, and again, it will pull up the information for that server. This is our storage device, so we've given it a name, and this one is BRW MacBook. That's my laptop, and I gave it that name to identify it. The port number, the AE title, and again, the IP address is provided by the IT department. I check store because it's a storage device and grayscale if it was not sending color to save room. We don't need to do that. Modality work list is a different kind of server and we're not going to go over that one today. Hit OK. No changes were made. Doesn't have to, to reboot again. And now we're going to use prior to backup. Kind of standard procedure. We're going to go back to the MacBook which is my server name, and we're going to give it a test. That could have been DICOM, it could have been your hospital name, anything you want. First and simplest test of the ping, it checks to see if it's physically connected. And we'll hit OK. And it sends data over to the server, and it looks to see if it's echoed back again to it. And it looks like it was. It generally takes a lot longer when it's not, because it waits for it to time out. And we'll scan down to the bottom, and in fact it says that you had five packets sent. Five packets received, zero packet lost, and it gives an average time of uh, 64 milliseconds. Hit prior. Now we're going to do a DICOM test. DICOM echo checks to make sure that all the software handshaking is correct as well. That typically is things like AE title. DICOM result successful in this case. Very good. You've now set up the IP address of the system, you've set up the DICOM, and you've made sure they were connected. Go back to prior go back to quit and we end up on the image now with the image we have one more thing to do go back to setup menu above the 8 use the trackball to slide on down to Aegis a second item and hit OK that's just the name of their internal storage device we're going to go to define servers and it's a little bit cut off but down in the lower left it says auto copy and you've got three choices in progress sends it to DICOM as you hit store on study close when you finish the exam and off it does not send it at all you have to go to the study utilities and send it manually now let's do a test go back to the image put on something live so that we can see it and let's hit store when you do said store in progress at the bottom copying a known patient to BRW MacBook our server name successful you just sent to the server you're effectively done However, we've got a couple items here. We went to study utilities and the ones with asterisks were exams that were not sent. Maybe you were mobile at the time. Check a couple of them. It's set to send it to that server. MacBook Pro, hit copy. Shows it's sending them over. 2 of 23. 15 of 23. And it's already sent them all over. They've now been sent to my MacBook, the server. I've got a passive DICOM listener there. And those are on my DICOM software. Back to the image. And that's it. You've set up the 
software for networking on a Sequoia. Welcome to the 2-Minute Tip. Come back again soon. This is Bill Ward. Check us out on the web.